everyone. Um, thanks for joining me once again here on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Um, in this video, I'm going to be bringing you an amazing video. Okay, in this video, we're going to be decoding and exposing. I think it's one, two, three prominent figures: two in that of the art world, and one of that in the pop culture world. Okay. This image here, The Trench Warfare by Otto Dix, is on the list of 10 most controversial paintings in our world. Okay, and um, you can see this list at um, E list, E list, that's E list 10.com, top 10 most controversial paintings. And in this case, this painting is The Trench Warfare by Otto Dix. The second, well, Otto Dix is going to be decoded by me today. And as I want you to keep in mind that as I'm exposing Otto Dix, I'm also going to be um, drawing your attention because now you have to go ahead and look at it. All of Otto Dix's work, his affiliations, the art schools that he went with, that he um that he went to and you have to look at this guy for who he truly was now okay so this is an exposure of Otto Dix and this painting which is on our world's 10 most controversial list so we have you Otto Dix thanks to Jerome Wright and his friend Mike who mirrored this image for me and sent it to me, which he knew through my paranormal experience and encounter because Mike has been following my my works now for for um for some 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 months now, and Mike has sent me this image, and I was drawn immediately into it. Okay, he did a mirror thing with it, and I took and brought to us what we're going to see now, thanks to Mike, and he's got due credit behind all of this. So ever, anyway. Mark Ryden. How is Mark Ryden tied to this? Well, first of all, let's do my Michael Jackson first. How is Michael Jackson tied to this? To this painting? Michael Jackson's 1991 Dangerous album cover created by Mark, um, Mark Ryden. There's the album cover there. is identical to this when it is mirrored meaning an overlayment of this image i'll bring the image up shortly people because i definitely won't be this you know michael jackson family likes suing people right so you know i wouldn't be up here doing this if i wasn't on to something huge here all right so we're gonna go they are probably blame mark writing for all of this now i guess but here this image is identical to this when you do an overlayment. I'm going to show you shortly, so bear with me. Now, Mark Ryden, this guy, you are mine now. You belong to me. I am serving you up to be my pedestal to go before the world. I'm sacrificing you, Mark Ryden. Now, Mark Ryden, he was born January the 20th, 1963. He just had a birthday not too long ago. Oh, hold on. His birthday is coming. Are you kidding me? Today is the 19th? Oh, no, this can't be. This is this is too good to be true. We're, today, I believe, is the 19th. Is it? Yes. Oh, Mark Ryden's birthday. It's tomorrow. This guy's birthday is tomorrow. He was born in 1963. Doesn't this be all? Oh, happy birthday, Mark Rodden. And I'm giving you the best gift that you could possibly ever have. You're through. Look at the image in here, people, where he has the monkey in there. 
with a popo like cap on with a cross on top. Now keep in mind that I'm the first person to ever say that the cross referencing represents the cross referencing of mankind's genes. Specifically, i.e. our ape and African ancestor. And here he's showing a monkey with the cross on the top. In the back there. You see that? Wait till I get done with his ass in this video. You're going to see what's going on here, people. Now, this here is another painting by Otto. In fact, let me bring this back up. I'm going to show you something because it gets better before I bring the other image up. You see this? This is a painting by Otto. See the, the man in the suit holding the baby in his hand like a sacrifice? You see that image? This is by Mark, Mark Otto. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Um, Otto Dix. I'm saying Mark Otto. I'm getting the names messed up here. I'm thinking about Mark Ryan. Excuse me, people. This is Otto Dix. This is the painting by Otto Dix. Forgive me. See the boy in the hand with the butler-like figure? Now, on Michael Jackson's dangerous album cover done by Mark Ryden, look at the butler figure down at the bottom holding up the black boy in the hand. It's identical. Identical, pretty much. The message is being the same. Now, let me show you what this produces. In a mirror, in an overlayment, I gotta go back and I gotta go into. Um, is my mailbox up there? Okay, yeah, it's up there. I believe it is. Let me go to this image here, and I'm gonna go down back to my inbox, and we have to go here, and then here, and voila. Are we centered on this? I gotta get, I gotta move over. Me, my luck, I'll be done drunk. Ah, is this the one that I want you to see? Or is it another? Um, okay, hold on. Where are we at here? Let's go. I wanna make sure that this is the one that we're looking at before I go in upside down this is a mirrored overlayment I can use this one but I'm gonna to go to the other one just in case this is an overlayment of Otto Dix's um, trench warfare now check this out people look at the eyes can you see that let me make sure that we're, we're that we're seeing this here because this image you may not be able to even see okay let me see if I'm, I'm looking at right there and right there. Can you see those eyes right there? There's eyes in there. Okay, let me bring this in closer. I don't want you guys to miss anything because this is very interesting. And all right. Yeah, there they go there. Okay, right, right there. With Even with bags underneath of them. You see that right there, the eyes? Okay, this is an overlayment of the Otto image, which is the 10 most controversial, on the 10 most controversial list. Okay, so this is an overlayment of that, of that image. Look at Michael Jackson's Dangerous. It's the same exact image with the crown on top. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Let me let me let me zoom out now. It creates the same exact scenario. And I'm gonna make other connections for you. Hold on. Alright, let me back out of it. So what is being shown? Now the image is dark and I don't know what can I can I show you here? Because I'm close up. Let me back off the image some people. Hold on, let me bear. Okay. What do we have here? And I bet you you can't even see it. 
the reptilian. I'm going to have to, you're going to have to, I'm going to have to just assume that you can see this, people, because I don't know what the video is going to be showing you until after the fact, after the video is already created. On either side right here, there and there, it creates the hands and claws of reptile of an reptile. You see it there? There's a fingernail there, there's a fingernail there, and this is the reptile's hand symbolizing the dinosaur. It's clasping and holding each other. On Michael Jackson's dangerous album cover, on either side here, there and here. If you look closely at these boxes, it's an indication of the reptile skin with the eye on the top. If you take a quick look at that, the same exact reptile skin that is here and the claws right there is the same indication as being shown right there. Now, I already gave you the butler guy, looking guy with the child in the hand from Otto. So now this is from Otto, the, the indication of the reptile. Now, here's something else. Here, where Michael Jackson is shown, well not Michael, right here, this mask, right there. That mask, down below here, is showing a square box, like almost like a, a square, like an opening from darkness. This entire thing creates like a mask, by the way. Two people, are, and we're gonna get. Let me, let me, um, let me, let me back up some so you can see the top. Okay, I hope that you're gonna be able to see this. Here, this opening right here, right there, and then the way it crosses over to the bottom here. Right there, where the, where the here's the eyes, there's the eye. That little box down here is the same exact scenario of Michael Jackson. See how he has the world back there, and then got daylight, and you can see through that opening, that square box opening. You see that right there. You see daylight on either side, and then got the world in there. Here's the same scenario right there. This here is like a building, meaning representing that of a house of genetics. And until I, I can identify what that building represents, I'm not going to go into detail and in advertising that, but I'm almost for certain that this is representing a clerical building and a clerical building that's global on pretty much every continent all right but I'm not going to go there which is a representation of the globe but this scenario right here right there people and here because this entire thing creates a mouth and I'm going to tell you what the mouth is a representation over in a minute you see that? That entire thing right there, the inside is exact the same exact way. And there's the mask right there. Now, you want to know what Michael Jackson Jack well oh, by the way, people, here's the crown right there. You see the crown? Now, what is Michael Jackson? Because I know how to I know how to read this, so I'm telling you pretty much what Michael Jackson is saying, stating here. You see the mask Michael Jackson is wearing. You see the monkey up top in the crown. It's a representation that this entire thing is the open mouth down here of a monkey. He's wearing the mask. Of the monkey. These columns here represents that beast's teeth on either side. The entire scenario is showing you how it's almost like a face-off on how 
he removed genes of his ape and African ancestor out of his body and subsequently controlled them. The same exact message that's being said here, but it's actually being said with our ancient dinosaur ancestor based on the hands that is here. I gotta find out a way to post this image. Um, I'll probably post this image on my on my Facebook page. So people that actually want to actually, yeah, I'll post this image up on my um up on my Facebook page. Okay, so anybody because that's the only place that I think that. In fact, I'll post it on my Facebook page and I'll post it on my alien UFO site. Okay, dreams and experiences, and I'm an alien and so are you. And in fact, I can um I'll I'll post it. And uh, several different locations. I'm also on um, on Google, um, Google Plus. I post it there, and I'm also on Twitter. So when I post this image, it should go to all of them, and you'll be able to identify with what everything that I'm telling you. Now, this image is Otto Otto Dix trench warfare with the German soldiers and all of that with the gas masks. This is a mirrored image. And I'm telling you people that it creates the concept behind what Ryden did with Michael Jackson's Dangerous album. This here is a copy. This is not authentic work right here by Ryden, um, um, Mark Ryden. This work is taken from the mirror, from the mirror, the overlaid paint art artwork of Otto Dix. It's a mirrored image. This is a mirrored image brought to re reality or brought to the forefront by Mark Ryden. If you go and check out innuendos that are suggested here, like the butler holding the boy with the hand, you see that? How in the world can I make the comparison? How can I even bring you the eyes? Look, the eye, look. Here's 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 the similarities: the eyes and the mask. This mirror of Otto Dix's um um trench um trench warfare. There's the mask, the eyes and the mask. Okay. There's the head. Oh, and by the way, I know what the headdress means too. By the way, people, I'm not going to suggest. I'm not going to say anything now. But I know what all of this is stating. I'm just only going to say that much now for when this actually goes public. I'll, I'll let you know exactly what all of this is suggesting after that. However, and then the butler. How in the world do I know that Otto Dix's work is appearing mirrored work and some of his other art forms on his um that's been done by Otto Dix. The boy in the hand is appearing with Michael Jackson's work. How do I know that Mark Ryden is the person that is responsible for that? Well, I know this because you know why? Because now these two artists Otto Dix and Mark Ryden if you take both of their artworks their life history with their artworks you do mirror overlaying with them you will come up with similar findings as I have but you won't know where they are, of course, because I have this paranormal experience and encounter, which allows me to know exactly what this is. But you will come see that their artworks, if you overlay the images in the artworks, then they reveal a true side, an underlining message, which is truly there to be understood by a select few that knows that this is encrypted, that this is their encryption style in their artwork. So... 
Mark Ryden, happy birthday from Jerome Wright. Okay. Your birthday is tomorrow. So happy birthday to you, Mark Ryden, because you belong to me now. And Otto Dix, who is, I guess, p passed away, right? Yeah, he died at age 77. Okay, so yeah, he's gone. He's been gone since 1969. Both of them exposed for being the inspirators or inspirational, the inspiration behind this. Everything that is here is here. So now, um, I guess the Jackson family is I'll be seeing this. So I'm telling you that the album cover of Michael Jackson is a symbolic message as to the artwork, the underlining artwork of Otto Dix. It's a copy, pretty much. However, well, I better not tell too much. I better not tell too much. I'm not going to tell too much. But Mark Ryan. Or the Jacksons, whoever, if you guys wish to challenge me, I so wish you would because that would be lovely for me to have this all tried out in, in media, in the public, because I'm dying to get in the public. So I challenge Mark Ryden or the Jackson, any of the Jacksons, to call me out on this, to challenge me, take me to court. On this so we can play this all out in court that would be the worldwide publicity that I was actually waiting on if this video does not go viral all right now um, where are we at with this are any survivors of the Otto Dix estate now bottom line is people Mark Ryden's work and Otto Dick's work can now be looked at for truly what it is. Otto Dix's work can be mirrored, overlaid, meaning take a mirrored copy of the image and place it over and the underlying messages can be revealed in other people's work. Today, artists works like that of Mark Ryden. I will be doing other videos on Mark Ryden's work. You can see that to come because I have a, I, I'm already gotten that on order. So now, again, people, I'm going to close this video out. There was something else up here that I was going to make a connection with about this um, image and all, but. Um, um, there's something about the, the, the German innuendos. There's something there that I was supposed to a message about. Oh! Remember when I told you people that everything is based on genetic bridging and genetic contamination and manipulation? Well, this is why Michael Jackson is shown between figures of kingships and queenships, kingship and queenship. He's bridged between. Also, who are in sole connection with that of ancient rooted religion. It's a genetic bridging. Michael Jackson is showing that he was a genetic sacrificer of genes or genetics which were created in a cauldron, a cult-like way. This is the reason why you can get away with making images like this about kings and queens and there's no backlash. Or about ancient rooted royalty 
have you, how you see people today get away with a lot and I'm going to be doing a video on that too by the way people because you know that's another thing where these musicians can make the music you have them a lot of them today talking about being gods uh, being um, uh, why why be a rap king when you can be a rap god um, that type of mess Eminem um, 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 Jay-Z Jehovah you know what I mean um um, Kanye West, all of these different things, these innuendos, you notice that these innuendos about religion, um, Drake, being able to talk about bars, misfits, and, and cursing, and drinking, and alcohol, and all this, that, and the third in his videos, and at the same time, the most high regarded religion in this world, with the, uh, amongst the Jewish. He's allowed to do this and then sign off in the end about being Jewish, having bar mitzvah money and all of this in his, in his rap. And the Jewish community is not saying a damn word. Now, you know, these people, it's crazy because you see them going out and backlashing against Louis Farrakhan and all of these other peoples about the Muslims, about being anti-Semitic towards the Jewish. And you have Drake in videos and just about every one of his videos. Making derog derogatory statements towards everything and then doing it behind the guise of saying that he's of the Jewish religion. But that's another video. I don't want to get sidetracked because there's, there's a whole lot more to this, people. But you notice that as we come here to the 2014th century, that there is a lot of discussion about ancient rooted religion and kingships and queenships that is not in only music. But in a lot of commercialized ads that are on TV today, people, I'm telling you that the underlining cult messages of all of this stuff is coming to the forefront. Be warned. Be warned. I'm exposing in this video, Otto Dix, Otto Dix Michael Jackson's cover of um, 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 of um. The bad, I mean, not the, the dangerous album cover, and Mark Ryden. There was another connection that I was supposed to make here, and I believe that that's going to be it for now. Um, people can take and look at, in fact, I see an image here on something, but I'm not going to go there. But that's where we're at with this for now, people. And please, any of you guys, come and challenge me on this. Any. I'm, I'm pretty much daring you. Come and challenge me on this and this. I'm stating that the Dangerous album cover by Mark Ryden has an underlining cult symbolization which references genetic manipulation with that of our ape and African ancestor. That's why this is in the form of a crown with a monkey on the top. This whole thing creates the open mouth of a monkey with Michael Jackson behind it behind it in the um the mask his eyes and it's a similar symbolization here where there's a set of eyes and i'm gonna bring that in closer for you again people so there's no mistaking that you see this okay this is a mirrored image of the artwork of i'm gonna bring that in closer hold on this is a mirrored image there's the eyes right there okay in fact let me bring this in closer so so we don't get this twisted and I know what the I know what this message is stating. Oh, um, and where we at there? Okay, I'll make the other connection for you. This is actually creating here an African headdress in here, and this is creating a crown, and this is the eyes, and this is the mask. Okay, and this is some form of temple here. Can't actually pick up on that though, but you guys will find it now that I'm bringing it to your attention. But guess what, people? Guess what? There's a connection between a strong connection between Michael Jackson and Africa, and of course monkeys and Africa. And I have not made the connection with Otto Dix. To Africa, but you know what? Oh yes, I have. I did make the connection. Please forgive me. Otto Dix is connected to 
Africa because this is an African headdress image and in this image in its right in its right form let me bring it back up oh no I'll bring it up in a minute there's the German soldiers with the gas masks on so insinuating Germany in Africa which Germans are in Africa so that image with the German soldiers with the gas mask on is a direct is a direct connection to what is reversed here because this is an African headdress back there representing an ancient rooted connection of genes which were altered this is what the message is behind it all people And this right here, Michael Jackson's bed, the message behind this is the same message which is here. The same exact message. Again, people, look at the mask, look at the eyes in the mask. Here's the under the under the mask right there. Here's a temple here. Then there's like what, well, but then there's the opening where all of this is dark. There's an opening up underneath here, which creates an overall face here of a tribesman right there, shown torn apart. And here you have, whoa, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Oh, you have the same identical thing right there. But in this case, Michael Jackson is stating that it's carried out through the world. Look at that, people. Look at this. Genetic contamination, and there's the same exact message. This is a mirrored image of Otto Dix's trench warfare, and I'm bringing that image back up now. And thanks again, Mike. And where are we at? I'm going back to the top 10. There's the image, and there's the there's the German, there's the um, the soldiers with the German hats on and the gas mask on right there. You see it right there? Insinuating what is going on. And this is one of our worlds, the trench warfare by Otto Dix. And this is deemed the most, contra one of, uh, one of um, 10 of one of the most controversial paintings in our world today. And I've directly tied it to Michael Jackson's bad, I mean, I keep saying bad. What the hell I keep saying bad for? There must be something there. I got to go look at that. Michael Jackson's dangerous album cover, which is identical to the mirrored image, or should I say with similarities, of that of Otto Dix's trench warfare when this image is mirrored. And turned upside down, it creates the same scenario as being described. And I'm going to bring that back up again so you can see the comparison. There it is, right there. And in Otto Dix's trench warfare, it's describing genetic contamination of Africa. And this is the reverse side of it. And this is symbolizing the African headdress here. And it shows by reptiles, reptilian bloodlines, because these are the hands of that of a reptile, showing you genetic contamination. And now in Michael Jackson's dangerous album cover, it's showing you a continuation of that. Now, Who's the man responsible and has direct knowledge? He is alive today, and I'm serving you up his ass, people. His name is Mark Ryden, and you can look at all of his work right now in scrutiny. Because for him to make that, to make this, I'm telling you that Mark Ryden has direct knowledge to the genetic contamination of mankind's being. 
He's enjoyed a level of success and knowledge, which is not privileged to the most, but to those behind the scenes in the art world, which knows that mankind is genetically being altered, wherein only a select few benefit from it, and the rest of the masses of the people are destroyed. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jerome Wright YouTube channel. And again, anyone that wishes to challenge me on this, I welcome you for the bottom line that this is the break that I've been waiting for. What better way? What better way? Come and challenge this. Please. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my YouTube Jerome Wright channel. I'm out of here on that note. Okay, he did a mirror thing with it, and I took and brought to us what we're going to see now, thanks to Mike, and he's got due credit behind all of this. So anyway, Mark Ryden, how is Mark Ryden tied to this? Well, first of all, let's do Michael Jackson first. How is Michael Jackson tied to this, to this painting? Michael Jackson's... 1991 dangerous album cover created by Mark um, Mark Ryden. There's the album cover there. Is identical to this when it is mirrored, meaning an overlayment of this image. I'll bring the image up shortly, people. Because I definitely wouldn't be this. You know Michael Jackson family likes suing people, right? So you know I wouldn't be up here doing this if I wasn't on to something huge here. All right, so we're going to go. they are probably blame Mark Riding for all of this now, I guess. But here, this image is identical to this when you do an overlayment. I'm going to show you shortly, so bear with me. Now, Mark Riding. This guy, you are mine now. You belong to me. I am serving you up to be my pedestal to go before the world. I'm sacrificing you, Mark Ryden. Now, Mark Ryden, he was born January the 20th, 1963. He just had a birthday not too long ago. Oh, hold on. His birthday is coming. Are you kidding me? Today is the 19th? Oh, no, this can't be. This is this is too good to be true. We're, today, I believe, is the 19th. Is it? Yes. Oh, Mark Ryden's birthday is tomorrow. This guy's birthday is tomorrow. He was born in 1963. Doesn't this be oh happy birthday, Mark Rodden? And I'm giving you the best gift that you could possibly ever have. You're through. Look at the image in here, people, where he has the monkey in there with a popo like cap on with a cross on top. Now keep in mind that I'm the first person to ever say that the cross referencing represents the cross-referencing of mankind's genes. Specifically, i.e. our ape and African ancestor. And here he's showing a monkey with the cross on the top. The second, well, Otto Dix is going to be decoded by me today. And as I want you to keep in mind that as I'm exposing Otto Dix, I'm also going to be um, drawing your attention because now you have to go ahead and look at it. All of Otto Dix's work, his affiliations, the art schools that he went with, that he um that he went to, and you have to look at this guy for who he truly was now. Okay, so this is an exposure of Otto Dix and this painting, which is on our world's ten most controversial list. So we have you, Otto Dix, thanks to Jerome Wright and his friend Mike, 
who mirrored this image for me and sent it to me, which he knew through my paranormal experience and encounter because Mike has been following my my works now for for um for some 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 months now, and Mike has sent me this image and I was drawn immediately into it. Hello everyone. Um, thanks for joining me once again here on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Um, in this video, I'm going to be bringing you an amazing video. Okay, in this video, we're going to be decoding and exposing. I think it's one, two, three prominent figures, two in that of the art world and one of that in the pop culture world. Okay, this image here, the trench warfare by Otto Dix is on the list of 10 most controversial paintings in our world. Okay, and um, you can see this list at um, e list, e list, that's e list 10.com top 10 most controversial paintings. And in this case, this painting is The Trench Warfare by Otto Dix.